welcome to Mon Uncle's Modular Mixer with me, Mon Uncle. Today we're looking at the MRG Synth VCO. Nice to see you. Stick around. So let's start with the uh, inputs, outputs, and main controls. The top here, we've got CV in, as you would expect, and a modulation input, along with a sync input and a pulse wave modulation input. Three dials below are modulation amount from zero to madness, then onto course and fine tuning. And with two outputs at the bottom, saw out and square out so i'm currently going into the square out let's just raise the level of that have a listen let's try some of that tuning let's go down first Ooh. And shift over to have a look and have a listen to the saw out. There we go. Different harmonics. Who'd have thunk? So here I've got the Bifaco Mug Slicer, Mug Slicer, Mug Slicer, don't know how you pronounce that, uh, going into an ornament of crime, quantizer, and then here we go, coming back out into our CV. Well, what's it not doing? Uh, this might be why I've not triggered. Let's speed up that muck slicer. It's a bit slow, isn't it? So that's the saw wave output. Now for some hot square action. Oh yes, more computer game music, isn't it? Okay, so with no CV in, I've connected the LFO output from the ornament crime. I love the ornament crime. You should too. To just the modulation input, we've got no, uh, there's no modulation being allowed through. Look at that cable. And as we turn that up, we'll slowly start to hear the LFO that's been kicked out from the ornament and crime. The micro ornament and crime, very small. Uh -huh. Let's slow that LFO speed down, shall we? Let's 
slow down our muck slicer as well. So this time we've just taken a slow downwards ramping LFO and put that into just the uh, pulse wave modulation. Eat that Nick Bat. Drop that pitch a bit. Speed up our LFO a little. So for this particular segment of the video, let's have a look at just the saw wave, sequence saw wave from the Mug Slicer. Mug Slicer. Again, into the micro ornament and crime. Nobody really cares, do they? But here we go anyway. Let's introduce a little bit of modulation. Turn down my mod amount. And we'll plug in that downwards ramping waveform from the Ornament and Crime. Just apply a little bit of modulation. next section I'm delivering hard sync hard sync via the seesaw CS saw seesaw uh, from mutable instruments braids uh, let's have a listen to that from the square wave out. Just dropping in pitch now from the saw. And a little bit of modulation. A little ramp again. John Lucas says that this module is stable, provided it's tuned, of course, uh, over six octaves.
So I had a little chat with Gianluca earlier today and just asked him, you know, a bit about why he decided to uh, go with this sort of format. I think, you know, aside from the obvious space considerations, which is helpful for me, uh, the rack that we're looking at here is, it's a 204 HP 6U type thing. So I haven't got that much room and these are quite helpful for it. You might find the same, who knows. Uh, so Jean-Luc said, yeah, I am... Um, I did this module because I wanted something in that format and I wanted a good high quality VCO that tracked well. And this is what I came up with. I have to say, I agree. It, it tracks well for me. Um, I've been enjoying playing along with it. So I'll just leave you with a little bit of music now, I think. Oh, John Lucas site. Yeah, you can find him on Etsy, MRG Synth. Go along, take a look. All sorts of different kits for you. Very helpful, man. Get in touch. God, this feels like shameless self-promotion. I guess it is in a way.